What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and it's a pretty interesting day on the internet. We've got Gamergate, of all things, uh, <laughs> trending, and the Fable uh, video game in uh, being released has a lot of uh, hullabaloo uh, going on around whether or not, you know, this main female character is ugly or not. Here's the reality. Um, Fable characters aren't exactly well known for being super attractive and super highly detailed. These are not, you know, core tenets of the Fable video game. But somebody did something very bad and they fixed the female protagonist in the video game. And the left is absolutely screeching and having an epic meltdown because they can't possibly admit that. Uh, you know, their character, you can't have pretty women in video games, but also interestingly enough, there need, there seems to be a reason why maybe they're mad. It looks like the character may be a self insert from some lefty that works at the company. What a wild, wild time indeed. And we'll get into the story. Just a quick reminder. Today's the last day to get your, the quartering slash coffee brand, coffee crossover snapback hat. We're just doing a one-time limited print run of that. And also, uh, on Friday, I like to implore you give us a try. We have nearly 20 different signature coffees, both flavored and unflavored, available in whole bean and ground, all roasted fresh to demand, on demand. We've got cold brew bags that are flying off the shelves right now for summer. We've got blueberry cobbler, strawberry, strawberries and cream, blackberry cream. We've even got decaf. We've got something for everyone. And I absolutely hope that you'll give us a chance to earn your business and there'll be a link in the description below. Uh, interesting story. So Fable, the main character is not very, the female protagonist is not very attractive, okay? Now to be fair, Fable games are not well known for their high-end graphics and their beautiful people. So, you know, I think the reason though people react like this is because there's in general been a push for really unattractive females in video games. I mean, you even had, um, what was it, Dove? Let me look this up here. Dove video games. Do you remember this? I covered this not that long ago. Yeah. So you had Dove. We're bringing real beauty to the virtual world. They did a whole animated commercial about, you know, making female characters in video games more regular looking. You hear, you see they have a wheelie, uh, wheeled an individual. They have somebody with downs in the video game, somebody who's very overweight in the video game, another person who's very overweight. None of these people are fit uh, for the most part. Actually, the person who's in the best shape is the one who's in a wheelchair, ironically. But the, uh, you know, so the reason people react the way that they do to, you know, this particular character is because this is, we know, we know this is on purpose, right? Like this is the main character here. Look, it's a fine looking person. The eyebrows are a little out of control. Uh, but, you know, again, Fable is not well known, but, you know, a small little airbrush, a small little change. But this post alone has people absolutely losing their minds. But also, uh, pointed out here, uh, uh, you know, lofty pixels look familiar, fine as wine. This is the Fable actress, and this is the Fable character. You can see it appears to be quite the self insert. Um, you know, the, the, it doesn't, you know, if this is true anyway, it's difficult. Look familiar, fine as wine, fable actress. It's difficult to know a hundred percent sure if this is her, but self inserts are when people, you know, make sure that the person inside the video game looks just like them. And that's exactly, uh, what happens in a lot of cases. Fable trailer met with backlash over characters appearance announced in 2020, the upcoming fable reboot debuted. During this year's Xbox Game Showcase, Fable still lacks a specific release date, but, you know, it's an old game. A lot of people are really nostalgic about, um, about the game in general. Despite enthusiasm, some viewers called out Fable's reboot, uh, reboot's heroine for being weirdly unattractive. While the, some gamers agreed, others clapped back at the idea of criticizing a character's physical appearance in relation to how good of a character they actually are. Now... The, the men are probably still hulking with six packs and things of that nature, but I mean, that's neither here nor there. The several people expressed their satisfaction with how the female hero looked in the Xbox channel trailer, continuing the trend of weirdly unattractive 
female main characters in video games because beauty is objectifying. One unhappy user wrote, seems like modern game devs are competing with each other and who can make the ugliest female character, another viewer wrote. The backlash also continued on Twitter where Mudahar di disputed an angry gamer's quote, Ian Miles Chong is not a gamer, uh, commenting on attractiveness. Again, like, I, in this particular case, I think in, um, in the case of Fable, there's a little more precedent into, you know, how the original, you know, heroes look. But what I think in particularly, in particular, what's interesting is just how easy it is to make a character, you know, look more visually appealing. And by the way, we know scientifically both men and women, and we've known this for a very long time, prefer attractive protagonists uh, in their movies, television shows, movies. That's why beautiful people are in Hollywood. They keep telling us that being ugly is some sort of, you know, being normal looking uh, is some sort of endearing fact or feature. And that might be true, but meh, you know, people want to see beautiful people. That's just the way it is. So you see this fixed fable. Uh, this person has, you know, whoa, this really blew up. And the ones who are butt hurt by it don't wash their rears. Uh, you see, like, it, it, it's funny that it's so hilarious. Like, uh, I know it's been 13 years since the last Fable game, but has anyone commenting ever played the games? I have, yes. It's clear the homely character is the neutral look, and you'll have to move up and down between ugly and attractive based on your good and evil rank. I mean, like, uh, you know, you just literally in the past Fable games, all the people were dirty, like, stop. Um, all these people are absolutely ridiculous. You know, the, 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 they're so defensive. Um, you know, fixed the last of us. I mean, that's, that's actually fine by me. You know, I think that interestingly enough though, both of these characters are pr pretty traditionally attractive. They just made them younger in this, in this other one. Um, oh, here's me, uh, people getting mad. Weird that y'all never fix male characters. This is from Imran Khan, uh, a huge loser, um, you know, had a PR, all this kind of stuff, a game informer, a leftist outlet. Um, you know, I think that here's a woman saying this is so much better. Fixed portal, nice. Um, fixed Minecraft. Um, you know, I, I think that all of this, you know, the the anger, the absolute anger of people um, that they don't fix men, I think that that ignores the history, the obvious history of having unattractive female characters. Um, you know, is, is it me or is Sony looking to make their lead female protagonist look masculine? Barely no curves, rough non-feminine creatures, unlike the average woman like Cough Cough, The Last of Us 2's Ellie, etc. Just saying, pick from the game on the left, fan made on the right. They, they are trying to make these women masculine looking. I mean, it's just the facts. Um, and you know, you have uh, <laughs> fixed balls with balls that, oh, well, that is true. But the there's so many angry people in here. By the way, like, I don't know. People are probably just using AI to do this. But it's funny to me just how predictable the outrage is every time when you have, uh, you know, an unattractive female character and people commenting on it. Look, by the way, uh, doesn't make the game any better or worse. I think that people just notice this kind of thing because, well, uh, greasy SJW game developers are always telling us about how women are objectified and how there isn't enough representation. I'm li I mean, I'm literally talking about Dove Soap did a whole animation on it, a whole commercial about how we need more regular looking women in video games. Even women don't agree with that. Unattractive women might think that, but very few women actually uh, want to play with unattractive characters. I mean, it's it's ridiculous to me. This is like a fake narrative. It's the same people that are saying being 500 pounds overweight is stunning and brave. Uh, you know, if that were true, I'd be one of the bravest people on the planet. Uh, but uh, I always love when people get mad about, you know, people fixing it and uh, they get so deeply offended. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. Make sure you pick up some coffee or the quartering slash coffee run coffee crossover snapback. Today is the last day to order it. Uh, and uh, we'll talk to you again real soon.